Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July 4th of 2022. Well, it is titled Strawberry Supermoon over Devil's Saddle. So what do we see here? Well, here we see the Devil's Saddle, which is a mountain off in the distance here we can see. And rising up above it, we do see the moon and it is the full moon. And it is actually a super moon and called a strawberry super moon. Well, how did it get all of these names? Well, the strawberry moon is one of the names for the June full moon not because of its color the color the reddish and orange color has to do with the fact that we're looking at it very low in the sky through a lot of atmosphere and the atmosphere is very good at scattering out light and it preferentially scatters out the shorter wavelengths so wavelengths like blues and greens get scattered out of the light from our moon and all we see the closer it gets to the horizon is a deeper deeper red color and you can see that in the very first image where our moon is just peeking over the mountains there off to the far left how deep red it is and how it gets uh, more and more orange into a yellow color as it gets up higher in the sky. But that is simply an atmospheric effect when we're looking at it through the atmosphere. And we notice that with our moon and our sun as well when we look at them very close to the horizon. The closer to the horizon we look, the more atmosphere we are looking through. Now it's also called a supermoon. And again, that has nothing to do with the colors either. The supermoon simply means a, mo a full moon that occurs very close to perigee. Perigee is the closest approach of the moon or any object orbiting Earth to Earth in its orbit. So it's when it's at its closest. That means it's because the moon has an elliptical orbit around the Earth and sometimes is a little bit closer and sometimes a little bit further away. And when the full moon occurs, when it's a little closer, it'll actually appear a little bit larger in the sky. So that is why we call it a supermoon, but it really isn't tremendously noticeable. Just looking at an image of the moon, you would not be able to tell the difference as to whether it's further from Earth or closer to Earth. What you would need to do is to actually compare images taken at different times when the moon was at different distances at through the same type of equipment with the same type of magnification. And in that case, you would be able to see that there is a distinct difference between the size of our moon at different times. This occurs not just for the moon, but for our sun as well. The sun can appear a little bit larger in the sky when we are closest to it in January and a little smaller in the sky in July when we are furthest away from our sun. Sun. Again, the difference will not be noticeable. And in fact, for our sun, it would be even less than for the moon. But it is a, it is something that does occur because of the elliptical orbits of objects within our solar system. So here we get to see that strawberry supermoon rising up above the devil's saddle. So that was our picture of the day for July 4th of 2022. It was titled Strawberry Supermoon over Devil's Saddle. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Molten Galaxy. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.